I've been trying to move in without the U haul. In the back of the bin, smoking the new out. Uh. In the label for friends, this shit like Lou Wong. You gon' find me winning, I don't care who lost. Hey y'all, it's Anicia and welcome to my channel. We have another video today. And yes, I always start my videos in here. I'll never be able to explain why. But today I'm gonna have a cooking video for y'all. I'll be making a pineapple bowl. Hence, you can see the pineapple in the back corner. And yeah, so next time I'll see y'all in the kitchen. Okay, in this video, I just used the sweet and sour. Then I have my pineapple. The lime was for the meat, the steak meat to tenderize it. I had the peas and carrots for the rice. And those were all of my seasonings. So let's get into this video. Okay, as you can see, the first thing I did was wash my hands. And then after this, I put three-fourths cup of water into a pot of water. And I also submerged a small bag of rice into that water. The next thing I did was I cleaned my meat. So I did that by putting the steak into one bowl and the chicken in another bowl. In the steak bowl, I put water, vinegar, salt, and lime. The lime also helps to tenderize the meat. And in the other bowl I just put for the chicken, I put salt, salt water, pretty much. And then I let that sit for maybe, I wanna say like 10 to 15 minutes, and then I gave it a good rinse at the end. When I say cutting this pineapple was the weirdest thing i've never cut a pineapple in my life before i don't even touch pineapples i'm allergic i'm not supposed to be it, this video is for the aesthetics you know you know so i could not cut this video I, mean, I could not cut this pineapple in half and when i did cut it in half the halves were not even i honestly didn't care i was a little upset though like i said the aesthetics i needed it to be nice but y'all see i'm struggling with this pineapple and and then my mom asked me where the stem was and i told her i broke it but honestly i just didn't know how to cut it and i didn't want to go ask for help because i was really trying to figure it out for myself but i mean as you can see i it failed i, I failed but <laughs> anyways <laughs> On this next step, the rice was done. So I mixed the rice in a bowl with salt, pepper, and butter. And I put the bowl into the refrigerator. I don't honestly know how long because I eventually ended up putting it into the freezer because I was making fried rice. And for fried rice, you want to start off with cold white rice. So yeah, and it wasn't getting cold fast enough and all the food was being done cooked really quickly. So that's why I ended up in the freezer, but yeah.
Let me tell y'all how I was supposed to make these pineapples into a glaze, but I ate them and I'm allergic to pineapples. Let's just say the entire time my tongue was hurting a lot and my mouth was very uncomfortable. I'm trying to be cute. I'm trying to be cute and stupid. It's like, no. <laughs> but no, I, I literally made a mistake. I, during the moment, it was good. It was amazing. I haven't had fresh pineapples in such a long time. But I surely, surely regretted it. Maybe a minute after this clip was filmed. Honestly, a lot of this is just common sense to be honest. Like I said, I do not do tutorials. I just tell y'all what I do and you can follow along and add your own thing to it. So I probably, you probably won't hear me talk. I'm probably just gonna play music and do a little bit of ASMR here and there. But yes, um, but as you can see, I mixed in the corn and the peas with the rice. I did season the corn and the peas just a little bit. I added some sugar to it just to cut the salt back a little bit, but that was literally all. Oh yeah, and this part is just me putting the steak into the air fryer on 400 degrees for about 10 to 20 minutes is how you like your meat. I like, I just let the whole 15 minutes and at the last five minutes, I add the chicken in with it once the chicken was done cooking. The stove, I don't like to cook my steak on the stove because sometimes I'll burn it because I don't have patience. Honestly, I'm being for real. But yes, so other than that, on, the, like I said, once it got to the 15 minute mark, I put the chicken in with the air fryer. The chicken was already fully cooked, but I wanted it to all have the seasoning together, add a little bit more pizzazz to it. And then while the chicken's cooking, I also cleaned the kitchen some more. I took some of the dishwasher and put the other stuff in the dishwasher. Cook, clean as you cook, clean as you cook. It'll make things so much easier when you're done, literally. But that was all. And this part, because my chicken was finished cooking and then I realized I still had to make my eggs, I went ahead and put on a plate for now. And then I had fried the egg in the same grease from the chicken because it's gonna all be eaten together. So I honestly did not care. Now I had ended up putting the rice and the egg and the vegetable all combined in a big pot, reheated it on the stove. I added sesame oil to it and then, you know, fried a little bit, just a little bit. And honestly, y'all, I think I put, I thought at first I put too much sesame oil in it until I tasted it and it was literally perfect. Y'all, I ain't never put no sesame oil in nothing. At this point, I was literally winging it with this rice and I was like, if I mess this up, I'm gonna be mad because we ain't had that much rush to be playing games with no food. see this was actually very fun to make it was very easy um i don't even know how long like, i want to say it took me all together i probably say 45 minutes to cook the meat and everything the rice and all 45 
give or take. It took me a little longer because of trying to film while doing it, but yes, 45 minutes. So now I'm gonna taste test it for y'all. I'm gonna get a bite with everything on it. So, um, got the rice, some chicken, piece of steak. Hold on, hold on, I'm struggling a little bit. I can't even pick it up because it's too heavy. <laughs> okay, there we go. And the, and the sauce that's on it is a sweet and sour sauce, so. Oh, mommy! She already know about the wrestler. Mommy! What do you think you're doing with you? Ma, how does it taste? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Y'all know, come try the food. She's got me. I gotta put the light on. Where's the light in this hallway? She's gonna probably eat it all the way. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, she's so difficult. It's heavy. Everybody's in bed now because it's so late. I always cook at night. Are you Don't ask me. Get a fork full. Off this side. The other side. The, pr the ugly, the money your mom tore up. All right, guys. Put the fork on the side. How is it? Is it good? Mm -hmm. What? Girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good night, Anna. Mm -hmm. Guys, my sister has allergies right now, so I'm not gonna put it on the camera. But here you go, Kaya. Yeah, what? No, she was. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Is it busting Janelle? That means I got the approval. But she doesn't feel good, guys, so ignore her. Bye! <laughs> do you like it? You do? You can try the steak. Try the steak. Try a piece of steak right there. Where's that sauce? Sweet sour. Is it good? Period. And it's safe to say my entire family loves it. My brother just came downstairs because I'm about to make him a bowl of it now. But yes, y'all. So that is my version of a pineapple bowl with steak and chicken, rice and peas and um rice, peas, and carrots. I drizzled it in a sweet and sour sauce. But yes, that is it. Um I will leave some of the instructions in the description. I'm really debating on it because it's not really hard to make. You just got to put your own twist on it. But yeah, I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.